Hey guys. Okay, so if you saw the social media post that I put up earlier this afternoon, you would have seen that the heat wreaked absolute havoc on my planned car video. But here's the thing, as the sun starts to set around me right now, I'm realizing that I'm fast running out of time to meet tomorrow morning's posting deadline. So I thought, you know what? I've got to come up with something short and sharp, really quick and easy question to answer. I've got the one. I mean, it came up yesterday on site. It is perfect. So what's the question? Well, the question I'm going to answer today is can council control the colors that I paint my house? Now I'm just going to focus on TBC or traditional building character overlay. What we commonly refer to as character areas. I'm not going to talk about the heritage overlay sites. They're a totally different ball game. So we'll just ignore those. But when it comes to TB site, C sites, the answer is no. Council does not care about or control the colors that you paint your house. As I said to this guy in Barden yesterday, you could quite literally paint your entire house hot pink or even rainbow. Oh, that'd be interesting. Wouldn't recommend it, but it'd be interesting, right? But yeah, you could go for your life and council could not care less. As the guy said to me, turns around and goes, that's really interesting. I mean, council controls so much of what you can do with these character sites. Why don't they care about the colors? I mean, the colors can have such an impact on the streetscape. Here's the thing colors are reversible. So council's focused on what you're permanently taking away from these properties and what you're adding as a more permanent sort of fixture. Let's be real, colors, if you don't like them tomorrow, you can go and change them. They're not a permanent thing. So it's not something council really cares about. There you go, nice, short, sharp question for today. As I always say, until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane town planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah, the views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all.